this video I'll be measuring these two crankshafts. They're both supposedly for the uh, for my engines, the 195.6. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is because on the rag right here, this is the, the engine, sorry, the uh, crankshaft that came with the overhead valve engine that I I recently purchased. However, uh, the engine has obviously been tampered with and the connecting rods on it are actually from another engine, the 232. So I'm not, I don't trust what the people do. You see, that's why I never assume things. Uh, I always want to check, measure uh, to find actual values. Um, and on the left here, is the replacement crankshaft that I got for the flat head. So similarly, I don't know what its stroke is. So um, this is the flat. This is for the flat head. The reason it's a replacement is because uh, I was going to repair the crankshaft that was in my car. However, the machine shop, the uh, crankshaft repair shop, actually. The guy actually had another crankshaft, and it was uh, my crankshaft couldn't just be turned on the lathe, or rather the grinder couldn't just be grinded because it was just too it was just way too bad already. So it would have had to sort of solder it, weld it, and then grind it. And apparently you can't just do it once; you got to do it twice and grind it again. So it would end. Uh, it would have ended up being too expensive. So fortunately, he had another crankshaft that was already grinded. Uh, the, the main bearings uh, were grinded 0 0.1, and the rod bearings had been ground. Sorry, actually 0 0.01 rather, and the rod bearings 0 0.03. So uh, I got it. However, however. Uh, if you look at the AMC engine history, they made the exact same engine from 1956 all the way to pretty uh, 1966, if I'm not mistaken. So they made the same engine for about 10 years. Now, there were there were some different versions. There was the 172 and the 184, and the only difference was the stroke. They're called so the 196 was a stroked version of the 184 and in my head the only difference in those engines would be the crankshaft or rather the crankshaft stroke which is the distance of the center line here to the distance of the center line the center of one of these rod bearings so that one there so basically it's a measure of how far up uh, the distance traveled by the pistons so if you make the pistons travel longer, um, they will have they will suck in more gasoline. So in my head, however, everything else is the same. The size is you know, the, the fitment is all the same. However, in my head, it was just the crankshaft. Now, if you put a, a shorter stroke crankshaft on a longer longer stroke bore, what's going to happen is the cylinder is not going to go all the way to the top. So what's going to happen is, yeah, the pistons, everything's going to fit, and you're, it's still going to suck gas, but the compression will be lower. Uh, I don't know exactly by how much. Uh, it might be doable. I don't know. Uh, the compression for engines will run all the way from, from 8 to 10. So there is there is quite a bit of variance there. Uh, I don't think it would be a problem. I think maybe if you went all the way from a 172 to a uh, 196, maybe that would be way too low. So if you uh, let me actually move this to the side here so you can see a little bit better. I'm trying to see. So this distance here is a stroke from here to, the, to this center here. Imagine if this was like all the way over here or if it was 
closer to the center. That's the difference in the stroke. Um, so I'm actually going to measure it, but I'd like to just talk a little bit more about that. And so this inevitably, if we shorten this here, it's inevitably going to move the connecting rod closer and the piston further away from the head, from the cylinder head. So there's going to be less compression. And like I said, the 172 is basically a 2.8 liter and then you have a 3 liter and then mine is a 3.2 liter. So from the smallest to the largest you have a difference of 0.4 liters which might not seem like a lot but it's it's quite the economy and the difference in power there as well. Um, if we just went from a 3 to a 3.2 liter that's just a small difference on the uh, crankshaft length I'm sure that wouldn't be a problem. If we put a smaller crankshaft, smaller stroke into a longer stroke engine, however in most engines the block is also shorter, so a shorter stroke, shorter block. And I hadn't thought about that, I didn't really realize that. Now if you try to do the opposite, if you try to put a long stroke crankshaft in a short stroke engine, then you're going to have problems for sure because the piston is actually going to hit the cylinder head. Obviously that depends how much of a stroke and uh, how much of a difference, right? So if you put a long stroke crankshaft into a 2.8 liter engine, for example, in this case, then I'm sure you're going to have problems. Uh, it's not doable because it's going to hit the cylinders or rather the pistons would be thrown too high and they'd go past the cylinder head. Uh, that's, so that's that's out of the question. And if I'm not mistaken, the difference between the shorter stroke to the longer stroke is only about an inch. I know from, so I think th these ones are supposed to be four and a quarter inches, right? Um, so you'd have to check that. I'm not 100% sure what the other strokes are, but it's it's not over an inch, I remember that for sure. I think the shortest one is a three and a quarter. Um, so that's that. So that's my explanation on that. Um, I don't know what, what the advantages are. There are some differences in, in lowering or increasing compression. Obviously fuel burns better with and more efficiently with higher compression but it requires a cleaner fuel if you just put apparently if you just put normal fuel in a high compression engine like let's say 10 or 11 compression then it doesn't explode properly and you get rod knocking pinging and things like that that's that's my uh my input on that but so that's that now these this could this crankshaft it actually has a crankshaft number and this one is a 3169034F so 3169030034F sorry let me say that again 3169034F and I looked this number up and I only found one source uh, for this number on the internet and it's listed as having a stroke of three and a half inches so basically it would be um, three quarters of an inch shorter than my original crankshaft so I get less compression and uh, probably less power and more fuel economy now the, like I said the only big problem is if you put a long stroke crankshaft in a short stroke engine but I already have the longest stroke engine so I don't have to worry about that series of an issue if I just put a shorter stroke crankshaft in it um, I just be uh, getting a little less power which I, w I, I would be fine with I don't uh, I'd actually be happy with that save me some money and uh, so that wasn't a concern for me um, unfortunately this crankshaft here, the new one, the one that's nice and new, 
it doesn't have a uh, part number on it, fortunately. But the original part number was, I written it down, fortunately, and it was almost the same, exactly the same as this, except with a five instead of the four at the end. So it was a 3169035F. And that listing was, uh, came up as a four and a quarter inch, as it should be. Uh, I know these are listed as well in the uh, Mal or Mali book. So we we'll have might have to check that just out of curiosity. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to measure the bore stroke of the engines inside. So that way I can verify this. And obviously, before running the engine, I'm just going to turn everything just to make sure everything's nice and smooth and not hitting anything. You always want to do that. So I guess that's enough for the theory, enough for the practical. So what I'm doing here, I just put one of the rod bearings, sorry, one of the connecting rods here inside one of the journals. And I'm just going to measure from here to there, just uh, just as a comparison. I don't, I'm not really going to measure the actual measurement, and I just want to compare to see if these are the same. And I'm getting exactly seven and one sixteenth of an inch. So just, let's say, let's call it a set. There. Okay, I'll have to turn that around again. <coughs> We're in the same spot as the other one. And it's also a set. So I think somebody uh, made a mistake there, or this is a shorter stroke crankshaft all along. Although the guy that sold it to me, he's he was he was a crankshaft expert. He's a crankshaft expert. He had thousands, literally thousands of crankshafts in his shop, and he looked up the uh, part numbers and all that. But I have no idea how he figured out out the part number for this one if it's not on it. So. Could be that both of these are shorter than the original one. Fortunately, I didn't measure the original one, so. But at least I know they're the same, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, let's go outside and measure the uh, length of both engines. I'm getting almost seven here. So just just uh, recall that the previous measurement there is just a comparison measurement. It's not the actual measurement of the throw. So I'm getting pretty much seven inches there. Exactly seven inches all the way to the top for the flathead. Let's check this one. And seven all the way to the top. Looks like this one is just a tiny bit shorter. Maybe it's Maybe one eighth short, it looks like. Yeah, so it seems. It's like an eighth of an inch short right there. Measure that one. Nah, 
it was the same. It's the angle that I was measuring it. So, at least we know they're the same. And, uh, 